Alright, what's up guys? This is Spooky, and this is another short LP. This one is for Kung Fu. It's another classic NES game. Um, there is an arcade version of this game, actually. It's called Spartan X. Not sure uh, if anybody's ever played that one. Anyway, I'm going to jump right into it. So here we go. And the controls are pretty simple. Um, it's, you know, left and right to move around and stuff. Uh, B, kicks, and A, punches. Uh, there's also a jump and a crouch, and you can, you can attack during... Uh, both those things, which is pretty cool. Anyway, it's a very simple sort of action beat 'em up game, but uh, I find this game surprisingly fun. I think that uh, it covers a lot of the early aspects of a beat 'em up. Well, there's bosses on every stage. You know, there's minor enemies and stuff, and you have a few different attacks. Not as cool as like Streets of Rage. We should do that sometime, man. I love Streets of Rage, actually. Someone once showed me that mod Beats of Rage. I was like, man. No hate on the developers or anything, but I was like, get that out of here, man. Streets of Rage, that's what I'm talking about. Especially Streets of Rage 2, my personal favorite. Streets of Rage 1, also fun. Alright. Stage number 2. And uh, there are lots of ways to approach all these little objects in the stages. You can, you know, destroy them. Or you can, you know, sometimes kick them. You can dodge. Lots of ways to get out of it. And this stage features another relatively uh, easy boss. These are little shorter guys. I don't know if they're supposed to be kids. I guess. Um, sometimes they jump at you, and when they jump, you'll have to, uh, you'll have to jump back at them, or you'll take some damage. And that was the second boss. Pretty easy. Just run up and kick him in the face before he can throw more boomerangs. You know, every other stage we get these little transitions. With Mr. X laughing. Stage 3 we go. This is one of the tougher stages, primarily because of the boss. But there is one trick that we'll use that uh, should make the boss fight pretty easy. Lots of minor enemies here, as you can see. We have lots of these knife guys, too. Sometimes they run away from you like this. Pretty annoying. We do have to get rid of them, because if not, they'll stack up after a while. Anyway, here's the boss, and the trick is we jump- Oh my goodness, you see how much life that did he hit me one time? Anyway, if you jump kick him, and then just go for crotch punches, usually you'll get him in time. Man, did you see how much damage his one kick did? Crazy. Alright, so we're off to the next stage, and this is another one of these stages that has all these little illusions. Uh, thankfully, if we run through it, quickly um we can safely ignore most of them they do do a good portion of damage so we don't really want to get hit but um stopping is the worst case option if we get hit we should just keep running anyway this boss the magician i used to have a lot of problems with this boss there's one that jumped at me by the way but uh there is one little trick and that's that if you use the crotch punch attack then uh, you can get a lot of damage in on it safely not sure how you're supposed to beat it without doing it that way. He has lots of little strange ways to react to your attacks. Like if you jump kick him, he goes to this weird animation where his head falls off or something. But it doesn't actually damage him or anything. Anyway, the magician has lots of tricks, but... Crotch punch for victory. And we're off to the fifth stage. This is the last stage. And as you may have guessed, this game is kind of a... Um, a play on, you know, such classic kung fu movies as Enter the Dragon. Pretty similar sort of plot. Which is to say, no plot, it's just you kicking the hell out of everybody. Obviously, because it's the last stage, the enemies are getting lots more aggressive. There's lots more of them. So many knife guys and crap. Anyway, we're almost to the end. There you go. That's signified by the fact that the enemies can't run any further. 
Here we have it. Here's a final boss. And this guy's annoying, Mr. X, because he likes to block a lot. So, uh, you know, we're just trying to mix up our attacks as best as we can and get damage in. Nice. And we got him. All right. And that's it. That's really all there is to it. We saved the girl. Anyway, uh, whenever you beat the game, you get this little animation. Congratulations to the lovebirds, but guess what? It does not last. And then it pretty much jumps right back into the game. Uh, each time, it gets progressively more difficult. Um, you get a little dragon icon for each time that you beat the game, by the way. But um, yeah, it's pretty much the same game. Not much changes other than the increased difficulty. Um, and also with some bosses, enemies will continue to run at you during the boss fight, but it doesn't really make it much harder because you just want to kill the boss quickly and then fight off the enemies. Um, anyway, that's all there is to it. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next LP. Good night everyone.